action. <laughs> All right, today we're going to show you a couple of simple exercises that you can do at home with your dachshunds. And this is something that we do with the IVDD kids on a daily basis. And it doesn't have to be daily, but since we're here, we do. And there's two pieces of equipment that you'd want to have. And we get these from Fit Paws. However, you can get a book or, the, or a telephone book or any kind of book. It needs to be something that doesn't slide. And the, the object is to be able to have their toes in front of it so that those don't move. And that's the purpose of this. And because we're going to do the sit to stand, which is one of the most beneficial exercises, especially for the wobble walkers and kids that are, you know, recovering quite nicely um, with the IVDD. And as you can see, Buddy's raring to go. The other object is this. It's just a round, looks like a log. And you can supplement this by having a pop bottle. And the purpose of this is to stretch those legs, especially for kids that there's kids that the legs go backwards when they have ID, IBDD, and there's kids that have their legs go forward. And the ones that have their legs go forward, this is awesome for stretching the muscles to get them to get the muscles to stretch. And it's basically just rolling them back and forth so that those muscles stretch. But he doesn't have a problem with his legs going backwards. He prefers them backwards and he crosses them and goes flying around the yard. And he got his little scrape today because we let him go outside without his little booties. All right, so now the sit to stand. It's very simple and I'm gonna show you backwards so you can see his little booty. And we put his little toes and you wanna get them at the normal, normal distance from each other. You wanna make sure their nails are trimmed so that they they get as close as possible but the idea no stay the I, idea is to have a little bit of elevation because it causes the muzzles to work a little harder to get down and to get up so you just want to help them sit good boy and then you want him to bring himself up which but oh good boy but he does really good he's been doing this for a while but you want him to use his muscles to sit Go ahead, sit. Good boy. And I've just got my hand on his back. I'm actually not pushing him down. And then I just put my hand back here, and then he guides himself up. He has the cross cessation, which a lot of DVDD dachshunds have, so you want to make sure to reposition his legs each time. And then sit. Come on. No, 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 no. We're not dancing. Sit. Good boy. There you go. And the more pressure it takes to make him go down like that, because he doesn't want to sit all of a sudden, that means the muscles are working. And then you want to go up. Okay, stand up. Good boy. And you want to do this, the repetition of this about 15 minutes. So as many times as he'll do it, or her, whoever your puppy is, is how many times you want to get it done in 15 minutes. And you can do it longer. And eventually you'll be able to, like Buddy can do this without it. He'll actually keep his legs in place. But it helps when their legs are kind of willy-nilly with the IVDD. They go all over the place or they want to go under them or they want to go backwards. And these just help keep those legs in a position that's natural. Okay, stand. Good boy. Okay, put your feet down there. Let's see if we can do it backwards. Yeah. We just started doing the backwards one. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. There you go. Okay, sit. Oh, you want to stand. Well, no, you can't get the treat till you do both. <laughs> okay, we'll go this way. You ready? Okay, sit. Good boy. Stay. All right, now up. Come on, you can do it. All the way. All the way up. Good boy. And I put a belly band on them because, you know, the more stimulation they get in the back, they have a tendency to tinkle. Even though they probably, he's already gone potty a couple times. But they do dribble because everything's getting activated back there. All those nerves that have been asleep from the IVDD. Um, and don't be surprised if they jump, but you want to keep a good handle on them. Because you want to keep that consistency going with the up and down. And pretty soon they'll start knowing what you want them to do. And they'll sit to stand by themselves because they know there's a treat involved which miss carla hasn't got really readily handy because i forgot but he knows he's gonna get a treat afterward but that's all there is to it now at, when you're done because you're you're exercising those muscles you want to be able to massage them 
Now, he's had cold laser therapy, but the range of motion for the dogs that don't have enough muscle to do the sit to stand yet, range of motion means every which way your dog would move their legs, you're going to move those legs for them, which includes running, but you don't want them to run. I mean, you can. Hi, oh, buddy. Do, 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 do. We play the drums. But you also want to be able to get them one leg at a time to where they'll stand on one leg. Because if you've ever seen the dogs, they stand on one leg sometimes. But it gives uh, pressure to one leg. So you can, because usually one leg is stronger than the other. So you get that one leg going. And then they stand. And then you reverse. Yeah. I know that feels funny. Good boy. His weak leg is on the right, and that's the one that we're working now. That's his weaker leg. Typically when the dachshunds have uh, the uh, herniated or the ruptured discs, it's usually um, more severe on one side or the other. And the opposite side, or the, op the leg opposite the side of the injury is usually the one that's the weakest. And in his case, it's the right side. Now, also with range of motion, you want to be able to get the legs forward. Yeah, you like to stand to sit on that one, don't you? So you want to get them forward. And anything that you can think of, I mean, watch your ducks when there is nothing. And then stretching, nothing you can do to hurt them. If they yelp, of course, you hurt them. But you see them when they sprawl out in the grass, their legs are all the way back. So give them some sprawl action. Give them some forward action because they scoot their butt when they got a little itchy butt. And so those are range of motion options as well. And range of motion sideways, not as much, but you never know because you get into a hill and they have different, different uh, levels. So you just want to keep exercising those legs. But the best thing is that sit to stand, is getting those, if you can get your dog to stand up and sit, you are beating the game big time. I mean, that's the biggest part of getting them to walk is getting them to, if they can't stand, they can't walk. So getting them to go from a sit position to a stand position, and eventually once they start doing it on their own, then they'll start wobble walking. And at that point, you want to make sure they have their cart because those legs will start moving, but sometimes they get a little weak, like his right leg is weaker, and you don't want them to drop and scrape, which they will do, drop and drag, drop and drag. And then, watching them stand all by themselves is amazing. And Buddy's been doing this for a while, so he's pretty much got the routine down. So he's the best candidate to show you how to get it done. But he still wants to scrape. <laughs> <laughs> and that's as, as simple as it gets. And don't hesitate to give us a uh, contact on our Facebook page if you have any questions or you have a specific exercise you want us to show you. But this is probably the most important exercise you can do for your dachshund that is down with IBDD.